Injury risk is another concern for soccer players and clubs in terms of health, performance, and cost. A study reported an average of 1.3 injuries per player per season in English professional soccer. They found that the greatest injury rate occurred in the two 15-minute periods toward the end of both halves, with significantly more injuries in the second half of matches. According to another research, a period with a congested match calendar can lead to fatigue, increasing the risk of injury and poor performance during the following period. They found that 60% of the players WHO had played more than one match a week before the World Cup incurred injuries or underperformed during the tournament. Match results, match-related physical performance, and injuries were monitored during two seasons, 2007-2008 and 2008-2009, for 32 professional soccer players playing for the same top-level team. During the two seasons, the team played 123 matches, 76 Scottish Premier League, 16 Champions League, 7 Scottish Cup, 6 Scottish League Cup, and 18 Friendly. The team played 67 matches separated by 3 OR 4 days and 56 matches separated by at least 5 days. Among the 32 players selected for this study, 19 played from 1 to 14 international matches during the two seasons studied. These matches were taken into account in the injury rates but not for the match-related physical performance. To analyze the effects of two matches per week on related physical performance and injury rate, two paired groups were formed according to the number of days between two matches. The first group comprised players WHO had not played a match for six days or more. The second group comprised players WHO played two matches within four days. The effects of two matches per week on match-related physical performance for 23 players was analyzed, given that nine players were not involved in one of the groups. For match-related physical performance, the first group comprised 23 players playing a total of 130 games, 1 to 14 matches per player, whereas the second group comprised 23 players playing a total of 116 games, 1 to 18 matches per player. To compare the match-related physical performance, the averages for total distance covered, high-intensity distance, sprint distance, and number of sprints for each player in both groups were calculated. Injury severity was defined as the number of days that had elapsed from the date of injury to the date of the player's return to full participation in team training and availability for match selection. Injuries were classified into four categories of severity, according to the length of absence from full training sessions and matches, including the day of injury, slight, 1 to 3 days, minor, 4 to 7 days, moderate, 8 to 28 days, and major, more than 28 days. A total of 165 injuries in matches and training over the two seasons were reported retrospectively. In total, players WHO suffered injuries were not available for 2,443 days and 418 matches. Injury rate during match time, 48.7 injuries per 1,000 hours of exposure, was significantly higher than that during training, 3.7 injuries per 1,000 hours of exposure. Effects of two matches per week on injury rate. 21 players experienced at least one injury in the first group, whereas 31 players suffered at least one injury in the second. Table 3 presents injury rates, injury severity, re-injury, and mechanism of injury according to GRU. Tables 4 and 5 present main groupings and categories for the location and type of injuries according to group. The overall injury rate was 8.9 injuries per 1,000 hours of exposure. I spoke around about two weeks ago. I had uh, um, the club organize for me a meeting um, with Paul Molnar, the responsible person of the Premier League to, for, the, for, the, for the fixtures. Um, Paul Molnar told me we cannot change it because it's not about Man United, it's not about Liverpool, it's not about City. Let me say it like this. We played after the international last international break at 12.30 at Everton. My players were Wednesday night, at um, some of them at Peru, I think. 
Um, so, and you play on 12.30, so these kind of things should not happen. I understand 100% the need of television, 100%. But the Premier League needs to fulfill more of more the position of the unity of the players as well. So, yes, um, everything changed apart from the fixture list. So, usually in a season, we all have an October, November, and then the very, very tricky December. This year, the October is like the December, the November is like the December, and the December is still like the December. That makes this is an intensity is really difficult. So, and now I don't ask, and nobody, I don't think anybody asks for like you play Wednesday night, and you, it's completely normal that we play Saturday. It's the 12:30 which is the killer. Tottenham played in Ludogorets and Thursday night played today at 12. So. Um, with all respect to West Brom, but um, Tottenham won it late, so because you need them much longer and, and all stuff. And now people might like it and think, okay, that's a proper competition then, so it gives other teams a chance. The only problem is we injure the players. You cannot keep the players fit with that. So that's really the problem. So it's, a, it's not about us, it's not about United, it's about the fixes. And yes, we all agree, I spoke today, that, and again, we have to talk again about the five subs. And if everybody, if still the, I don't know, 14 teams say, I'm not sure they will say that it, that it, five subs shouldn't happen, then that's at least, that are sub five times when we play each other, the top six against each other. I have no idea if that's possible, but we have to find solutions because it's so tough. This year, we get it. We want to play football 100% with all we have. We need to play football. It's great for the people. It's great for us. Everything is fine. But Wednesday night and 12.30 is, should not be allowed. In that week now, all it was right. So City and us, we played on Tuesday. So there are always two teams who play Tuesday and two teams who play Wednesday. If the Tuesday teams are in contention now for the Saturday 12, whatever, that's okay. It's not nice, but it's okay. But the Wednesday teams should not even be in consideration for that game. Just not. So Sky, BT, Premier League, whoever, BBC, whoever, they have to talk. We cannot deal with that situation like we always did before. Like, because otherwise, and it's very important, the FA has to be in, involved. Tonight we lost, tonight we lost um, Trent Alexander-Arnold. I'm pretty sure Gareth Southgate is not fine. And if we continue like this, and hopefully we can play a, a Euro, a Euro, the Euros in the summer, hopefully we can play it. If they happen, let's see who will be part of that. Which player? What players? So everybody needs to go on the table. It's fine. We, have, we found a solution to play on. That's great. But now we cannot stop thinking. We have to start thinking new.